Hey guys, welcome to Season 2, Episode 5 of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Here we go. Nineteen eighty five, this little shit. As for my compensation. Strange form of payment. Hmm. Why this and not cash? No? Uh a form of rule, which in my opinion is getting a bit of a bad rap lately. <laughs> Forty-five years since you hired me to nuke New York? Well, forty-five years for you, maybe, but for me? Huh. Good seeing you again, old friend. What is this, first century AD, if I'm not mistaken? What is it that you want? A partner. Pass. I prefer to work alone. I pass. Gathering your hive of followers, building your empire, designing your arc. Try rewriting destiny. Try putting our partnership into concrete terms, as in, what's in it for me? Well, perhaps you're content collecting symbols of power, but I can give you actual power. Damn. No. Make changes we have control. What you're talking about can't be done. It's, it's like playing God, and it goes against everything we're trying to do. I thought we were trying to help people. We're helping by fixing aberrations, not creating them. You're not thinking fourth dimensionally. Did you really just use that brown on me? Who the hell is that? <laughs> Sarah, come on. You can't be Switzerland on this one. Time janitors. That's all we are. You want to act? So he was like advocating for actually doing like These drastic changes. That's just so dope. Alright. Point and shoot. It'd be really easy for me to improve this whole setup and just. Iterating the power source. There's nothing wrong with the gun. You just gotta be cool, like Snark. Yeah. I can be cool. I can be cool. You know, this may shock you. But I was considered extremely cool when I left my cushy six-figure Silicon Valley job, started my own tech company. Ladies were lining up. Listen, Erica. <laughs> if you want to fit the Snark shoes, you gotta find the pain, the darkness, the anger. You got it in you. Call me haircut again, and I'll ice you. Not bad. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to fix the aberrations before they happen. Like a time seismograph. That's an awesome name, and I'm totally gonna steal that. <laughs> if the JSA could get even a glimpse of all this, they would... Did what? Talk to me. What was he like as a person? Your grandfather was... A great man. That's it. He said, a great man. <laughs> is it because your missions were classified, or is it because you really didn't know him well as a person? It's because the JSA didn't encourage its members to fraternize. Well, there you go. Oh, it'll work that way. Where's it coming from? Washington, D.C., December 7th, 1987, 1600, Pennsylvania. So... Dude, that's the White House. Reducing both countries' nuclear arsenals and paving the way for the end of the Cold War. I didn't know all that. Because I was in the Capitol for that very summit, the Reagan administration would call upon the top nuclear physicists to act as technical advisors. You think someone might have traveled right back in there? time to stop the treaty from being signed? That, or worse. Think about it. Reagan and Gorbachev were in the same room at one of the most volatile moments in history. The JSA has a training academy in D.C. I could reach out to the current membership, oh, see Reagan. if they had any intel or Gorbachev. resources we could use. Good idea. Tear down this wall. <laughs> 1942, and it's dangerous to know too much about the future. I can handle myself. I go with her. Great. You too. Reach out to the JSA. While the rest of us break into the most secure residence in the country. And no big deal. Exactly do we do that? Mm -hmm. You just walk in. Welcome to the White House. This is Cross Hall. <laughs> women actually wore these things in the 80s. <laughs> Shoulder pads? Yeah, they're supposed to make women more imposing, more, I don't know. Manly? Yeah. I'd hope that by this decade, women would be able to compensate for their status. Surely by now, men are going to be manly. Equal. That's, That's not how I would. This is it? That's not how I would. Uh... This 
in the Jazz Hand Academy. I guess. I don't know. I'm not from the 80s. <laughs> I don't know clothing either. Whatever. Prepare to see the most elite training facility in all of history. I feel like it's gonna... Maybe elite means something different in 1987. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. It's all gone. How can you not know? Hey, every memo, every executive action relating to the JSA is top secret. I only pieced together the World War II activities from my father's bedtime stories, witness testimonies, and government leaks. Oh, wow. Well. Like you said, you don't know what happened to me. Oh, who is that? Okay, cool. The White House! 1987, the Halcyon days of Whitney Houston. The aberration must have caused infinitesimal ripples that affected the movements of my younger self. The temporal domino effect. This is why we should never interfere with history. I will agree to disagree. One thing's a show we cannot Dude. see. Dude, the God, you have no idea what you could do. Agree to disagree. Oh, that, mm, that is such a stupid mindset. I can see that. Those are President Reagan's jelly beans. Reagan was one of my top three favorite presidents. Wasn't? Yeah. Did he say he was or wasn't his top three favorite president? Oh, shit. Rod launched ballistic and cruise missiles. I'll even make them believe it was their idea. I don't know what we do without you, Mr. Dark. I'll be a manager, but winning is always better. <laughs> That's great. Sir, don't do anything rash. Sir, sir, I was. Just... Y'all should not have said that. 1956 from the British ambassador warning the JSA about Soviet Damn spies it. in their midst. I thought fighting Hitler would unite the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Oh, we have so much Cold War history to get you up on. <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh, snap! That guy. Why did you abandon us? <laughs> that guy was cool. <laughs> He's old now, he's real old for the shit. I know the actor too. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to drop the weapon. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You gotta fight or leave. Fight. Alright, get out of here. I got this. How did y'all get those guns in there? One rule we follow. <laughs> oh shit. Reagan's gonna think this is Russian. Damn it. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Chaos in the Capitol. Just a day before President Reagan is set to welcome General Secretary Gorbachev to the White House to sign the INF Treaty. Damn it. A White House tour ends in violence. If you would just let me tinker with a coal gun, I told you I could figure out the whole crossing the streams problem. There's nothing wrong with the coal gun. It's you, you goof. <laughs> the bigger question is, why did Damien Dark become an advisor to Reagan's White House on the eve of a nuclear treaty with the USSR? Well, what about protecting my sister? She brought me back. These people are the worst ones to be in this scenario. Me. Literally. The literal worst people that could be doing all of this. And in charge of time. They don't give a shit about the consequences. But we cannot stray from our guiding principle. Well, I'm sorry, too. Sounds like you've never really cared about anyone. <laughs> God, it's not even that. I don't mind him killing. He's gotta be in his late 70s at least. Maybe you can take the hit. In case he's not dead, he can probably use the nap. I'm not an invalid. Just old. And you, you haven't aged a day. It's one of the few benefits. He's in um, Detroit Become kill. Human. You left us like one of the greatest the video games. I was of all trying time. to find Rex's killer. And you never thought to tell me. 
Marcus. I saw Rex dying. After the war, our friendship with the Soviets. God, his voice. That's great. We continue fighting. As well and his face is, as is literally like he is in the game. Central and Eastern Europe. What's done is done, Maya. Not when you have a time machine. I'm sorry for leaving, Todd. I truly am. I wish he left with you. God, this guy's cool. Rex is cool. <laughs> he is cool. In 1987. Potentially, if Damien Dark is still working with him. No way. Damien Dark joined the Reagan administration as an advisor at the Reckonback Summit. And after the collapse of the Son summit, no. Dark was credited with reviving the disarmament talks. Where is Damien Dark now? I'm accessing the calendar on his secretary's IBM personal computer. So, Mr. what Dark do you do? in Georgetown Park at 8 p.m. Late night meeting in the park. That's not suspicious. Ray, take me. Find out who Dark is meeting with and why. Wait. Just us? Look, it's not a good idea for me to be anywhere near Damien Dirk right now. Ah. Okay, we're going on out here. Going in close, haircut. That snarts jacket. Fine. Thought I'd have to get into character. I'm Colonel Cold. The hell you are. I want a stakeout. What's next? That's kind of disrespectful. Double hoss? Guess you're still upset about the White House. Look, I can be more careful. I can be more meticulous. You keep reminding me of my my dead friend. It's bringing up. It's bringing up Felix. <laughs> stop and be you. Well, that's a little difficult, considering I lost my suit, my company, my you're... powers. Is this what an existential crisis feels like? Oh, God. Shut up. Meeting in a DC park. It feels like the beginning of a Jean Le Carré spy novel. I'm more of an Ian Fleming guy. Mm, more explosions. Oh God! Once a treaty is signed during the state dinner, you will deliver the package, and you will not hold the offer for the bargain. As agreed. At first. They're gonna try to kill him. Kill the president. Between our two nations. My, 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 my name is Martin Stein. You must have heard of me. You may have heard of me. Marty, younger you just entered the park. Well, but, but that's impossible. Today is December 7th, Clarissa's birthday. I distinctly remember. Did you follow me here? I did. <laughs> uh, you see, I'm, I'm working on a, a transmutation project that is vital to national security. I was hoping you might pass the proposal on to the president. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I can't help but notice you're wearing a Kamandersky watch, typically supplied to the Soviet Ministry of Defense. I, d Martin, you're a you dumbass. Soviet outside of the official negotiation schedule. My imagination isn't quite that vivid. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Where is he? It's on his way now. Where is he going to be fine? <laughs> if you had been having dinner with Clarissa at Lauberge as previously planned. Good God. Clarissa. She's waiting for me at the hotel. How could you have left her alone on her birthday? She ordered room service. You are a careless, self centered idiot. <laughs> Look, I'll go to the hotel and I'll tell Clarissa that her husband's going to leave. Okay? Just. Relax. Oh. oh, Martin. What on earth were you thinking? <laughs> Hubba Hubba, who is that? Gideon, do you have the location on Damien Dark? Unfortunately, I have no intel on his current whereabouts. But we know where he's gonna be. His little side deal with the Soviets is going down to the state dinner tomorrow night. Which is probably the most heavily guarded dinner in history. Yeah, probably. I think we know someone who may be able to help. Is that so? One of Amaya's old JSA buddies, and by old, I mean old. He may still have some government contacts oh. we can exploit. Absolutely not. Whatever Dark is planning to exchange with the Absolutely Soviets, it not. can't be good. 
Are you kidding me? She's nothing but professional. She's all about being professional. The only reason I could ever see her not being... Oh my God, you and Rex Tyler were together. No. They were together, weren't they? This makes total sense. They were together. Like I said before, fraternization among teammates is unprofessional. <laughs> Rex and I were going to leave the JSA after the war. So we're together. Start a new life <laughs> with each other. Every time I encounter him, I can't imagine I was ever that person. I don't think anyone would feel that way about meeting their younger self. I don't recognize my current self. Mick told me I need to be more like me. And he's right, which is rare. Mm, indeed. The problem is I don't know what being me means right now. I don't know if that makes any sense. Of course it does. I mean, stop mm -hmm. being what you're not. Everyone struggles, at least on occasion, with who they are and, and what their place is in the world. So what's the answer? I have no idea. <laughs> but I, I suppose it's just to live. Are you feeling up to it? I think what he means is, are you going to create a diplomatic crisis and risk on uh, damaged history by killing Damien Dark? I know what he means, right? Earlier, you accused me of not caring for anyone, but you know that's not true. Like Martin to lose track of time. <laughs> well, I'm sure wherever he is, you are foremost in his mind. Who are you? I, I'm, I'm a colleague of his. My name is also Martin. <laughs> he never mentioned you. Well, I'm sure he has more important things to talk about. <laughs> oh, uh, would you would you care to dance? I never seem to take the time to enjoy these state dinners. Sure. <laughs> I'm a member of the Justice Society, or at least I was when it existed. I'm not some vigilante. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cry, but you don't seem too happy to be here. It's just, Martin invited me on this trip for my birthday. Sometimes my husband has tunnel vision. Well, Martin is a fool, but <laughs> believe me, he loves you. You're far more important to him than any of his scientific achievements. I have the strangest feeling, like we've danced before. <laughs> Anybody else? Get ready to move. I, just, I don't know how this could possibly play out. get down to the real business? You have built us the goals. So, so much bad things can happen. The latest in Defense Department technology. As for my half of the exchange, nobody. Hand over the box. And the kick ass CD ROM. What is this? Oh, but it's a one more chip, yeah. Oh, he thinks we're working with Dark. Never. Reagan, Gorbachev, and every hope of peace goes to. Right. We're on it. I am so inconvenient, I know, but try me. Mr. Is, is wrong trying to make you look smart. 
You're Ray Palmer. You can science your way out of anything. <laughs> I'm Ray Palmer. You can science your way. I'm Ray Palmer. I'm science your way out of anything. Oh. If I can send an electrical pulse from the outside power source, I might be able to overload the box and send it. I have to dismantle the cold gun. Taken my soul, which I've already lost, and I'm not eager to do again. And that's why I'm sparing your life. I'm merciful of you. I'm sparing you to prolong your suffering. Rises up against you, and then you die, defeated and alone. He took them. <laughs> the time traveler working against us. The KGB get dark? Unless. Unless. I swiped it off dark. Oh, you're Shut up. good. Can I hug you? Do we hug? <laughs> just this way. <laughs> <laughs> to carry on as if you never saw me or anything else from the future. And that you would. Pass up the chance to show me even the barest glimpse of that future, catapulting our transmutation research to the 21st century. I had no idea I could ever be so selfish. Interesting. Considering that's exactly how you've been to Clarissa. She nearly died last night because of your blind devotion oh, to God. her work. After everything I've accomplished, all, all, all the awards I've won. Did we win the sixth part? The only thing that brings meaning to my life is Clarissa. Are you sure you won't come with us? Rex's killer is still out there. We could find him together. I think last night proved my Friday days are over. <laughs> you were amazing out there. It felt like old times. Uh, unlike you, my time is limited. And I don't need the carbs. Goodbye, Todd. Todd's so cool! <laughs> I like how all the cool ones well, are never the well, ones that stick around. Then take me back there now. I will get your item back for you. The legends have left 1987. The item is beyond your reach. That blonde woman, she's a time traveler like you. She knows what happens to me in the future. I'm sure she does. Then take me with you. I need to change my destiny. Oh, no. Tell you what. Why don't we work together to change both of our destinies? Great. I can already see he's going to come back to life. I mean, like, his future is going to be altered. And he's gonna come back to life. I can I can already see that happening. Um, season two, episode six of Supergirl is coming up next. I like. I don't hate like all the all the heroes or whatnot. Like I'm I like I like the Arrow. I like the Flash. I like Supergirl. Um, I I like Captain Cold and and um, what what's What's the other guy's name? Like his hero, his villain name? Is it Heatwave? Is that his name? I, th I think that's that's right. Um, 
You know, I like him. Never liked the Adam. Never liked the Adam suit. Never did. I don't know why. Uh, just didn't really do anything for me. Uh, love Vixen. Cool as hell. The Metal Man. I don't even know if that's his name. <laughs> it's probably not, but like, uh, Nate. Uh, eh, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. You know? Uh, not a fan of, of Hawk, the Hawk girl, and Hawk guy, or whatever. Not a fan of them. Didn't like them. Uh, most of the JSA people I didn't like. They were just, like, not cool. Um, but that Todd dude is, like, near the top. It's so cool. Obsidian, or, uh, is that his name? Obsidian? Damn. I know it starts with an O. So cool. Like, that's really cool. The Ragman and Arrow, that's cool. All the others, I just don't really care. Unless I'm forgetting one. Which I probably am. But, like, I feel like the really, really great ones, they're just there, and then they're gone. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Supergirl is coming up next. Look forward to the impacts that this has. You change the past, you change the future forever. So, we've already been seeing that it looks like we're going to be doing that again. Uh, so, like, we already saw it in The Flash. Change the past. Change the future. Uh, even though it's kind of not really a big deal in The Flash, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, Flash hasn't really done the whole change the future thing very well. Um, really, the most meaningful things was... What? <laughs> What was the most meaningful thing that they changed in The Flash? They added another character? Like... <laughs> um... Same with Arrow. The only thing that changed in Arrow was they added... They swapped characters. Like, they swapped... Uh... John's daughter with a son. This... If Damien Dark... Changes his future... There's a chance... Characters are added or subtracted in other shows. It's a possibility. The whole series has a thing about bringing people back to life. It's got a chance here. Which, and I've said this before, I'm not a fan of the bringing people back to life, but I get that's a superhero thing. I get it. That's, that's just the reality of, of comics like this, of, of superhero shows, you know, um... Which is the biggest flaw as to why I could never be, like, a die-hard fan for Marvel or a die-hard fan for, you know, DC, or, you know. Because storytelling for me is not this, like, just happiness thing where everybody gets to come back. I think death needs to be the reality of what death is. And it's, like, a very real permanent thing. So, as far as, like, storytelling is concerned, and, and shows that I like the most are typically the ones that death is a very real thing, you know? Um, we'll see. We'll see how things play out. I'm adjusting. <laughs> I'm adjusting to my, my death opinions, which I've already seen other, outside of Arrowverse, I've already seen other superhero things, and I, I've said, I've been very consistent with my, I don't like the, the whole idea that they keep bringing people back. That's been a very consistent thing for me. Um, but I have adjusted, and I've come to accept that that's just how it rolls. But yeah, Supergirl coming up next. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.